Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10 in October, Microsoft now has finally announced the program enrollment details for Windows 10 users for the Extended Security Update Program, ESU. We're starting yesterday, late yesterday in my region on the 24th of June. Windows 10 insiders can now access a new enrollment wizard through the settings app and push notifications to set up their systems for the ESU program. Now, as mentioned, only rolling out to insiders at this stage. I'll give you more details in the video. Now, just a quick recap. The extended security updates extends end of support by a year for consumers. So you'll be getting the security updates and bug fixes through Windows Update and by up to three years for businesses. Now, when Microsoft initially announced the ESU for consumers, Microsoft said you would have to pay $30 to receive the extra year of updates. Microsoft now has announced two additional options to join the Extended Security Updates program for Windows 10 users. And those two options are you can join by redeeming 1,000 Microsoft reward points or by using Windows Backup to sync to sync settings to the cloud. Now talking of rewards points, you can check your Microsoft rewards points by opening the rewards website on Bing. And if we just have a closer look at the ESU wizard, enroll in extended security updates to stay protected. Support for Windows 10 ends October 14. Get extended security updates to keep your Windows 10 safer. Enroll to receive critical security updates after support ends. And maybe later or next. And then obviously when you click next, you would follow the prompts. And PCs will be enrolled automatically once an option has been selected. So you will have those three options. You will have the option to pay $30, use Windows Backup to sync, or redeem with 1,000 Microsoft Rewards points using this wizard, you'll get those options. And once an option has been selected and the on-screen steps have been followed, Microsoft guarantees that you will receive updates until the 13th of October 2026 for enrolled devices who enroll now for the ESU program for Windows 10. So just to break the time schedule down. So starting yesterday, the 24th, Windows insiders can enroll for the Windows 10 ESU. And then in July, the option will roll out to Windows 10 customers. And then in August, broad availability of the option will become available for you to enroll. And obviously when I can show you something in real time, I'll post and let you guys know regarding that. Now another quick recap. Corporations and enterprises can pay $61 per device to receive critical and important security updates. And as mentioned previously, corporations and enterprises can renew annually for up to three years but costs will be increasing each year. And I've posted a video on that. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. And Microsoft has also mentioned that cloud and virtual environments are enrolled automatically at no additional costs according to the announcement by Microsoft. Microsoft has also confirmed that Microsoft 365 apps will be getting security updates, as I've posted previously, until the 10th of October 2028. Video will also be linked. Feature updates will stop in August 2026 though. So just take note of that. And Microsoft Defender will be updated until October 2028 as well to keep devices protected, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And just take note though, that with these new options, the new options require a Microsoft account though. So there is a bit of a catch. So if you want the so-called free options, you're going to have to sign in with a Microsoft account. So that's the catch regarding this. 
so just to sum this all up for the purpose of this video. So using the ESU wizard to enroll in the extended security updates to stay protected. Three options. You can pay $30 in your local currency, obviously. You can use Windows Backup to sync your settings to the cloud. That will be the, the first free option. And then the second free option, you can redeem 1,000 Microsoft Rewards points. And this will all take place using this enrollment wizard. And as I have mentioned previously on the channel a good couple of months ago, I always said that I didn't think Microsoft would end support for Windows 10 in October of 2025. It's still got too much market share. And I think Microsoft would be shooting themselves in the foot, so to speak. So I'm glad to see that those free options now are available. And as mentioned, the only catch is though, it will require a Microsoft account to receive those free options. But nonetheless, I still think I'm moving in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.